Welcome back guys to this clown's garage. In this video, I will be drilling a block for a second hole over here for the starter. Now the issue with this car is there's a 153 tooth uh, flex plate on here and originally it was a 168. Now if you have a 168, uh, usually the bolts are staggered. Now let me show you up in the block here what it looks like. When you have a 168 tooth flywheel, the starter usually have sta has staggered bolt mounts over here that bolts onto the block. And if you have a 153, you usually have bolts that are in line. So they only make starters for uh, 153 that are in line, like I said. Uh, there is a company, I believe it's CSR, that makes an adapter plate that you could uh, put a plate here and use um, an inline Hitachi style starter they also have a starter you know that goes with that plate you could buy that too it's like 250 bucks or something like that um, another option is to drill over here and tap it so you can use an inline starter with the 153 tooth so that's what we're gonna do right now we're gonna drill this bad bitch i believe any early style uh pre-65 or 62 or something like that block you're gonna have this issue with um also if you do a T5 conversion, sometimes you have to use a 153 tooth uh, flywheel and you have an early block and you're going to have to do the same thing here. So we're going to drill a hole here and tap it for this starter that I have in my hands. Now let me put the starter up, up there. I put the bolt, the starter bolt over here at this hole. So I'm going to mount it, I'm going to use this starter as a guide to Julia the hole. So let me go ahead and do that now. So now let's take this pinion gear out and see how it meshes with the flex plate. Have the starter loose a little bit so you can move it around. There you go. Now you pull this out with a little flathead or pry bar like I'm doing here. All right, now that I pulled that gear out, as you can see, you can move it back and forth. What I'm gonna do is, the distance between this gear and this gear should be a paper clip. I'm gonna put this right there. I'll show you in a second where I put it. Right there. And as I move the starter back, and try to straighten it out. That's exactly where I want it to be. The distance of that pin right there. So now I'm gonna torque down this starter plate on the block. I'll keep my finger here so the starter doesn't move between the block and the flex plate. All right, so this is what we did now. This is the starter bolt that we're using. And now I'm gonna measure how deep it's gonna go in the, in the actual block of the engine. The starter block here, it's measured to three inches. It's about three inches. And this bolt is about three and a half inches. So I'm gonna go down into the block about half an inch maybe a little bit more so that should be fine okay now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a drill bit it's a 5 8 drill bit what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight through this and I'm going to create a spot on the block so I know exactly where center is now I'm going to drill it I'm not going to drill it too much like I said this is just to spot it to, so it can go in straight um, the good thing about this is you're not going to go crooked at an angle because you got this huge block to go through which will pretty much center you in. So, put my drill in the hole. Get your safety glasses. Oh yeah, don't forget your safety glasses, which the clown is wearing right now.
All right, now that we did the spot with the big drill bit, we're gonna take the starter off and drill it with the, with the, with the smaller drill bit. All right, now I'm gonna get a, a 3 16 drill bit and we're gonna go in about an inch and a six two sixteenths or one eighth. So I'll right there, and I'm gonna put some electrical tape over there. So right there now I'm good. I know exactly how far to drill into the block. So let's go and drill this bitch. All right now comes the moment of where you have to be really straight and go in there straight use the spot you did before as a guide and go ahead and drill all right I changed to a face shield because it was going all over my face. <laughs> and I also put some uh, lube or butter sauce on the drill bit to make it go in smoother. Because you, you always want to put the lube on your drill before you hit the hole. Let's continue. Alright, so as you saw, I went through the block to the other side, which is not a problem. Now I just gotta tap that bitch. Now I'm gonna use a 3 8 by 16 tap. Now you might not have the you might not have the same bolt, bolt starter bolts as I do, but just to double check that, you can always just intermesh the threads and you see that they interlock perfectly. And the width is exactly the same too. Also with the drill bits, just make sure they're the exact same width when you are uh, drilling these in. Alright, what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to grind this down a little bit because the socket doesn't fit on this. So I'm just going to grind it so a quarter inch socket will fit on it. So I'm going to do that. Should be good. One more thing, this did not fit on here, that's why I did that. So I just grinded it straight straight until the quarter inch fit and I tapped it in place. So now I could just go ahead and turn that. So this doesn't fit uh, where the black area is. So I'll go ahead and put this in now. Make sure that it goes in straight, make sure you wear your eye protection. Put a little cheater bar here. It's getting hard, hard to turn. Back it out. The debris gets stuck in there. As you can see, it's falling out. And go back in. Out and in, baby. Out and in through the hole. Okay, now I'm just gonna put a piece of tape over here at the end of the threads because I think we're good. I just want to measure how deep we're in there. So it's up to there. And now I'm just gonna back it out. So we tapped it that much, about an inch. So now we're good to put the bolts in the starter. Now you can also wire wheel this, but I'm just gonna use a uh, brush here to clean the threads of the starter bolts so make sure there's no debris on them when you put them in to new fresh threads 
And that's what the threads look like. Brand new threads in the block for the inline starter. I'm going to go ahead and mount it and see how it fits. Alright, now let's see how it is over here. Let me put this in. Okay, so that caught. And let's test fit this bad boy. And she's good. All right, now I bolted the starter back up, and as you can see, it lines right up. It's not crooked or anything like that. So I also connected the wires on top to the solenoid, and now we're gonna test start it. And we're gonna disconnect the ignition coil and fire it up and see how it sounds. All right, now we're gonna crank the car. I disconnected the battery side of the HEI and we're gonna see if we hear any noises or it hits the flex plate or anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and crank it now. So that's good. It's a perfect engagement, buddy. Who's your clown daddy and what does he do? So that's how you drill a block to fit 153 tooth flex plate with a starter that has inline bolts and a pre-60s block. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like me, share me, do whatever you want to me. See ya.